Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> My name is Colin, and I would like to welcome you all at Mass this evening. Tonight, Father Chris celebrates Mass with us. Something to think about today and during the week ahead. Like the mustard seed, God's kingdom has grown and, and flourished. Our faith and acts of love are fuel for its growth. Please stand. <laughs> St. Peter's 
in Church Road, in Christchurch, a very famous bridge that I didn't know anything about, and a couple of other major buildings in the area, and we won. So, uh, so it's great to acknowledge all our builders who uh, were there for the last couple of years, and uh, for the architects and uh, the structural engineers who were all part of the group when we received the prize last night and your own good selves for uh, funding what happened there as well, as well as uh, Jim and uh, Gary and uh, our man who's gone to God, Brian. 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 So um, thank you for that. So you'll hear more about that in the bulletin next weekend. That's a bit of preamble for mess though, isn't it? So let's get on with it. Let's uh, remind ourselves of why we're here, the need for God's love and mercy, as we continue to build his kingdom. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have spoken. 
and I will do it. The word of the Lord.
one of the great joys of um, coming back down to Timaru from the old city of Christchurch is uh, driving off to Waimati and being a far bit of a farmer's son it's uh, great just to head south and just to see what's happening with the land how dramatic it all changes and how currently the seed has been sown and some of it's coming through and other the land has been um, tilled and all those wonderful things are happening to the land and as the seasons come and spring comes and it all takes off and then the, whoever grows those great sunflowers they take off and it's 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 a great you can't do that in the city you can't do that when you're driving down memorial avenue off to a church or something like that so it's it's always great to see and our beautiful gospel tonight is jesus trying to explain what the kingdom of his father is like and our language is inadequate it's like um, explaining the first time you were in love or explaining the best sunrise you have ever seen those extraordinary events and times in our lives when you're just sort of gasping in its beauty and you just can't find the words and that's what jesus is like he's not telling us the kingdom is this this and that he's saying what it's like he's comparing it to what we can sort of understand and that's what's happening in our two areas first he's saying it's like the seed the kingdom has been sown we are the seeds and uh, the kingdom as the seeds come through the earth uh, uh, and things happen to it it's just like uh, ourselves who are part of that kingdom and the things that we do the good and the bad the weeds are, uh, are taken out the uh, the good seed uh, continues to do its good work until harvest time when it's harvest and all the nutrients are being used that's one and the second it's like the mustard seed the mustard seed in the days of jesus that was the smallest thing that they could compare anything to and the birds of the air in our first reading and in our gospel the birds of the air don't sort of relate to the birds with wings it relates to the gentiles all those people who weren't jews so when you hear and all the birds can then land on the cedar tree they were saying that all of humanity not just the jews that all of humanity is available to sit on the tree and get under its shade and make their nest so all these um, symbolisms which float through our readings all the time but here the smallest seed tiny little thing what use is that but the kingdom started from nothing it started with that one man jesus christ and then he got a band of followers but then he died and everyone thought well that's the end of that but the kingdom from that small seed has just continued to progressively grow out out and out and we are here we are part of that so it's those you know so we don't know what the kingdom is actually like but we know what it can be like and how it continues to grow in the here and now so it is a great reading and it's something for us to reflect on and i'm part of that kingdom i'm only a small little part but i have to play my part as well how am i going so far it wasn't a rhetorical question or it was a rhetorical question <laughs> we stand and pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord called Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of power before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God and not man, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us, even in our salvation, he came down from heaven, 
clear day in accordance with the scriptures. He has seen the Nephilim and the seed of the variety of the Father. He will come here in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With all our difficulties and needs, we come now before the Father full of confidence. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, as they sow the seed of the gospel, may it bring forward a rich harvest. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For our children making their first Holy Communion, that Jesus will guide and encourage them throughout their lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who make our laws and administer justice, may they be guided by God's love and compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. May health workers around the world receive the assistance and protection they need during these challenging times. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of our dearly departed, especially Brian Colum, Graham Calvert, John Reed, may they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful Father, it is good to proclaim your kindness and faithfulness. Keep us always faithful, and may we always aspire to please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. <laughs>
For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We offer one another some sign of peace. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Amen.